I'm in my happy place. Byron Bay has everything for me. The beach, and I can take my fur babies, and they are having a great time. We visited Byron Bay again to see if it was the same magical place that we had found before. Has it lost its unique spiritual charm and chilled out coastal vibes by the influx of people from all across Australia and the world, including the rich and famous? We went whale watching, visited Byron's spiritual heart, spoke to a local artist, trekked to the lighthouse, did leisurely beach walks, indulged in some shopping and sampled Byron's restaurants, eateries and lively nightlife. It is a four and a half hours drive from our home to Byron Bay and on this trip we took Mary and Harris with us. When we arrived, we took the dogs for a walk on Belongel Beach, which is also popular with walkers and surfers. We wanted to tire them out so we could go exploring. The weather was stunning and this was a winter's day in Byron Bay. Byron is only 45 minutes drive from the Queensland border and it has a subtropical climate. So this great weather year round is one of the reasons for its popularity. A clue to Byron's diversity can be seen in the car parks with high-end Range Rovers parked next to travellers, vans and cars. There is a wide variety of eateries to suit all palates and budgets, from pub grub to cafes and trendy acai and juice bars, ice cream parlours, a range of contemporary and fine dining, And at the end of the night, if you are still feeling hungry, there are bakeries open till 4am. Byron Bay has a reputation for its great dining and we can vouch for this. We tried a couple of contemporary and trendy restaurants. The food and service was great. They had a lively, buzzy atmosphere complete with in-house DJs, which added to the ambience. Byron Bay has a great nightlife. The town has an energetic, lively atmosphere, which is evident during the day too, but in the evenings, this is notched up a few levels. The streets are buzzing with people from all walks of life. Locals, holiday makers, and young backpackers from all over the world. Hearing the different languages gives a real cosmopolitan vibe to an already vibrant place. There are many venues to choose from, ranging from intimate cocktail bars, nightclubs, piano bars, and the popular beach hotel, affectionately known as the Beachy. Some side streets are closed off to set up alfresco dining with buskers. Wherever we went, we heard the sound of music, some more lively than others. When we dined both nights, even the restaurants either had a DJ or musicians. We were so surprised that in the middle of winter, the town was so lively with a party atmosphere, so we can't wait to go back in the summer. Byron Bay is a creative centre for Australian fashion. Arnhem, Athens, Rawi in August are just some of the well-known designers based in the town. If you are looking for that unique Byron Bay look from head to toe, shopping in Byron is fun with lots of variety from small designer boutiques that are mixed with well-known fashion chains. Byron Bay has a thriving art scene. Busy, and we met her at this Byron Bay gallery and she does beautiful paintings and she's kindly given us permission to show her work based on walks on the beach at different times of day and different viewpoints. Is Byron Bay a nice place to live? Oh, it's fabulous, yeah. And what Paula, who owns the gallery, is trying to do is bring the artistic, creative soul back to the heart of Byron. So that's what we're trying to do. Because it sort of, it seems to have uh, uh, filtered out a little bit. So there's a lot of local artists who are going to take advantage of the space. Thank you so much, Rosie. Mary and Harris are asleep on the bed, so we've stopped at this viewpoint to uh, look at the beach and the beautiful surroundings. 
on our way to the lighthouse. Another stunning view on the track up to the lighthouse. Byron Bay Lighthouse marks the most easterly point in Australia and is where the sun rises first over the country. Before walking back, we stop for a coffee and an ice cream. There is a wide range of tours that you can take from Byron, ranging from kayak tours, skydiving, surfing, bike tours, and of course, whale watching. The highlight of our holiday was a three hour whale watching trip from Brunswick Heads which was a 20 minute drive north from Byron. There will be no commentary on this part as we are going to let the whales do the talking. Of our boat was also a professional photographer and he took these amazing pictures of the whales from our trip. Byron Bay has always been a centre for alternative wellness in Australia such as yoga, meditation and breath work. The Crystal Castle, about a 20 minutes drive from Byron, is perhaps Byron's spiritual heart. It has some lovely walking tracks and you may even come home with a crystal or two. Is Byron Bay overhyped? In our opinion, definitely not. We came home feeling so relaxed and you never know when you'll find that little piece of Byron Bay near you. Thank you for watching Lewis and Bonnie's Australia.